All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to vlog number nine. One more to go. Um, welcome back to London. We're in London today um, in Covent Garden because I need to get some of the weight taken out of this beard because it's looking a little bit dirty. Um, so we're in Covent Garden. I'm going to go to Ruffians. Now, all of you OG subscribers will know that I did a video on Ruffians years ago. We'll cut in a little bit now so you guys can see it. Further. I don't know, I can't decide. Um, but yeah, so going back to Ruffians, I'm gonna get it all taken out. You guys know that obviously I've been using Dollar Shave Club to kind of keep it tidy, keep my lines tidy, etc. But I need to take all this weight out of it so then I can actually maintain it myself and still get shaved. So head back like that? Yeah. Are you comfortable? Yeah, great man. Oh mate, right, yeah, that's great. boy is feeling lovely and trim. Kenny sorted me out. I think this is the best my beard has ever looked. Like, I'm gonna try and maintain this, you know, as best as I can. Brilliant. Thank you, Kenny, absolute legend. Thank you, Ruffians. Um, let's do a little bit of shopping whilst we're in London, you know, you got it, haven't you? All right, making a little checklist. So, beard. Done. I actually need to go and get some boring stuff like moisturizer. And then also I'm gonna give up What I'm gonna do, I also wanna grab a coffee. I'm gonna go to Monmouth, some of the best coffee in London. Um, and then I need to get some jeans, some boots, and maybe a coat. And then also some jogging bombs. So not really many, but we're gonna try and get it all done today in this video. So let's go. Okay, ready? Yeah. So let's go. Bye. Okay, so I nearly forgot to end the video, so I got home and now we're gonna go out and get something to eat, but I thought I'd end the, the video in here. And I'm actually gonna take you through the stuff that I got in another vlog, because I thought that would be a cool thing to do and don't wanna take up loads of time in this video. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you massively to Ruffians for making me look trim today. Um, like I said, if you are in London and you need to get your beard trimmed, definitely go to Ruffians. They are a very, very cool company um, and they'll sort you out. Um, if you haven't seen the video I did a couple years ago, I'll link that in the description as well. Um, a very younger, probably slimmer version of myself was, was presenting it, so go check that out as well. Um, and yeah, if you have liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, obviously. Oh, we need to do question of the day. Almost forgot, let's do question of the day. Okay, Edmund asks, I don't like golf, but I do love your videos. Thank you, Edmund, I appreciate that. Um, question of the day, is being a YouTuber harder than a nine to five job? Um, that's a really interesting question. Like, I don't know, you know, my hours really fluctuate. So if I don't get up, I don't get stuff done kind of thing. So you have to be self-motivated. You have to do all the scheduling yourself. Um, I would say that I definitely work harder doing this for myself than any other job that I've done before. Um, in terms of the work that I'm doing, I think that I enjoy it a lot more. So therefore, like putting in the hours, I'm not that fussed about, if you know what I mean. Like I actually struggle switching off from kind of doing the whole YouTube and social media thing. Um, so I think there's kind of, you know, pluses and minuses to it. I think there's some aspects of it that is harder. The fact that it is 24 seven and it's very, very hard to switch off. Um, but then obviously you do have a bit more freedom with your hours um, and you can set your own schedule and stuff like that. So as long as you're motivated, as long as you're organized to kind of get everything done, um, I would. All right, guys, the flipping camera died on me. So I'm now selfie camming on my iPhone. So the quality is not going to be as good. Um, so yeah, what I was saying, what was I saying? It's completely thrown off my train of thought. So I think what I was kind of trying to make the point of was 
at any job that you're doing, whether it's what I'm doing, whether it's in the creative industry, whether it's a nine to five or, you know, whatever job that is, if you put in the hours, you will get, you know, more out of it. So I think like any job that you do, yeah, just try your best at it, basically. Um, otherwise, I think that it becomes something that you resent and something that you don't actually want to do. So basically just work hard in whatever job that you kind of you're doing. I've always believed that. Like I said, I've had a number of jobs that I kind of hated, but you 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 get out what you put in kind of thing. So yeah, hopefully that kind of asked your question. I'm sorry it was a bit bitty with the other camera dying and now on my iPhone, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Um, check all the links out in the description. Like I said, um, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. And like I always say in these vlogs, turn on post notifications so you don't miss these uploads. Okay, guys, tomorrow is vlog number 10. We are nearly there. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Get in, 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 get in,